They said, me and you got it good and you guys suck. Who said that? The viewers. Where did you post it? Everywhere. We did not get it good, Frog, and we were off beat. No, we were. No, wait, no. Look, look at us. I don't f***ing care. We're off beat. Look, we're off beat here. See that? Off beat. We're off beat, dude. I'm so sick of this. Shit. I'm sick and tired of being off beat. When I was a child, I was on beat, dude. Bring me back. From your dad? Huh? From your dad? I'm off beat because of my dad, if anything. Well, your dad put you on beat, right? Yeah. He put the beat on. Yeah. My dad actually, did he, did he ever physically abuse me? Let me think about this. No, he does what Arab fathers do where he likes, like does that like tongue biting thing and like, and like what? squeals at no, you. What? And then he, he doesn't bite my tongue. He bites his own tongue. And then he, <laughs> what? and then he doesn't like the Arab dads don't like hit. Well, your Frogans does, but like Arab dads don't really hit. What they do is they take you and they like grab you by the arm and throw you. Right. Capri, did you have that too? No, my dad was nice. My mom was the one who hit Your mom me. was the one who hit you? That makes a lot of sense, actually. It makes a lot of sense. My mom never hit me. All right, you ready? I don't think my mom ever hit me. Mom, did you ever Mom, did you ever hit me? You never got hit by anyone, dude. You had a soft No, I did get hit. I used to get jumped a lot. By kids. No, these were like kids that should not have been in that grade. Okay. Like a they lot. were like ver like verging on it. Like, Hold on, let him finish his story. We're not recording this. I don't Why? Oh, we're this is our cold we've open. This is our cold open. We've been recording for four minutes. I don't like this opening. It was my dad's birthday yesterday. Did you wish him a happy birthday? Can we talk about Mr. Beast right off the rip? Then we can talk about your dad and your abusive childhood. I literally am not going to bring this up again, uh, ever. Okay, finish it. You're so focused on the, <laughs> you're, you're so focused on the content. He's Wait, still, hold on. We, let's just clap. We do, we do actually I'm need to clap. I'm not done, though. Oh, sorry. You're so focused on the content. He's telling you a traumatic-ass story that I already knew about, by the way. You would have known about. Wait, what part? Of, what part did you know about? About getting jumped. I'm oh. sorry, sweetie. I have boundaries. I don't think that hearing trauma today is good for my mental health. <laughs> 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 well, lady, <laughs> you Wait. can't go. You have to walk. He did walk. <laughs> we, 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 we got to clap. We got to clap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, clap, clap, clap. One, two, three. Okay, great. Oh, we're good. No, that's fine. We're good. Me. That was on hey, me. Oh, we just need the visual <laughs> cue and the audio cue. Well, lahi. Well, hey, he. Welcome in. Where am I looking? You'll oh. get the skinny one. Welcome in. Oh, wait. I had to look at my. Your actual. Welcome in into <laughs> your camera. Just look at your camera. I'm sorry. Like, the long camera's fucking me up. <laughs> Just look into <laughs> your camera, though. <laughs> it looks like a little pee pee. <laughs> Can we talk about. Okay, I'm exposing Scootish. For Speaking what? of pee pees, he thought a bullet vibrator was a dildo. You can't say that because the thing it's gonna yeah, get we suppressed. Didn't get, we didn't get. Well, actually, I think we're good on the thirty second cold open that I just explained about my abuse. So I think we're okay. He thought a bullet know, vibrator. You didn't know about it. He knows that. what it is, but he <laughs> said it's a those. dildo. And I was like, no, it's not. He's like, yeah, it is. No. Like, no, it's, it's not. A dildo, not. It's not a dildo. Sweetie. No, it's a vibrator. It's no, different. Dude. Now all dildos can be vibrators, but not all vibrators can be dildos. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I learned. I learned. Yeah. Yeah. After you know, my thing. The thing about Scootish is he'll tell you you're wrong, even though you're right, and then you start second guessing yourself, and you're like, I am fucking right, dude. He told the woman, he's like, Hey, listen, let me tell you about your body here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just you're. Don't think um, I should have. A, I should have a say. You should. You should have a say, dude. I saw a tweet the other day that drove me crazy. It was like, uh, they think that women should be the only one who have a say in their bodies. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Could you imagine? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Who pops in like, oops. <laughs> I wish women had more say in my body, to be honest. <laughs> I think my life would be a lot different. I wish more men had say in my body, to be honest. We oh, say God, it. Dude, we say it. We're, so we're good. Weird, dude. We're good. You just don't have the right friends. Can I be honest? It doesn't feel nice when you're so thirsty, okay? She wasn't thirsty. She was thirsting. That was a thirst. Oh, was that like a sexual innuendo? Yes. Oh, my bad. You, I took, I read you that literally wrong. go, yeah, dude. Yeah, you're right, Frogan. They should. No, it was my bad. I, I read that wrong. <laughs> I also did not see that as a sexual innuendo. Yeah, I, I saw didn't it. see that first. And then I and then I and I realized. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all the yeah. abuse. It's all the abuse of my childhood. All right, let's get into Mr. Beast. Speaking of bad we 
We'll talk about well, your abuse and your childhood Dude, abuse. Fist, we'll talk about are crazy. We need to get into Mr. Beast. Our retention has been a lot well, she's higher. Literally putting her thumbs topic. through her fingers. She, that's how she punches. Listen, Mr. Beast taught me a lot acrylic, about retention. Acrylic knuckles, dude. Uh, let, <laughs> Look what Capri did to me. What? I did not Did you do punch that. her? I wish. <laughs> that was a bad one. No, that was actually pretty good. Dude, I liked it. Look what Capri did to me. Is it on the side? Yes. That's that's cellulite, sweetie. <laughs> My cellulite doesn't bruise me. It's asshole. a bruise, bitch. How did I bruise you? I don't know. You know what's crazy? I know you desperately want to get in the Mr. Beast thing, but I found a stretch mark coming up the center of my belly this a few days ago that was never there before. So yeah, I'm gonna Did you use cocoa butter? Bleep it. Bleep it. Okay. Bleep it or you know, instead of bleeping it, just put a Home Depot logo with the music kind of slightly behind it. <laughs> dun, 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 yeah. I love how last week we recorded the pod the minute the dude released the second video, and we're probably gonna record this the minute the dude releases the third video, and we're gonna feel so stupid. Are we gonna feel stupid? Or are you gonna feel stupid? We're gonna get demonetized again. But maybe this time it will be Mr. Beast who demonetized. <laughs> we got copyright striked by <laughs> fucking music we own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all thought it was Mr. Beast. We were so happy for this. <laughs> Rogan's actually just like it happened, Mr. Beast striked us. <laughs> yeah, I looked into it. They copyrighted our uh they the copyrighted song our the intro. End. The best they cop no, they copyrighted the song at the end and Frogan texts me and she goes, This isn't the song we've been using, is it? I'm like, it's the same song. I listened same to song. it. It didn't sound Yeah, we take that much of the song. We own it. It's just we that own it. what's just so stupid, in order for them to not preemptively copyright strike us, we have to pay extra money. To whitelist our YouTube when we already own the song. Otherwise, they'll just strike us and we'll have to do it every single time. Right. Which is, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to use this company anymore. Yeah, this fuck Artless IO. Was that Artlist? Yeah, it was Artlist. Yeah. I was like, this I'm is just bullshit. Kidding, Artlist. If you want to sponsor us and just give us that, that option. Yeah, I great. love Artlist. It's actually one of my favorite companies. Like, I would take a sponsor for them, but like, what are you doing? Like, why do we have to preemptively do that? Yeah. Um. So let's talk about more Jimmy Beast. Sure. I want to talk about this. Yeah, uh, whatever. Because you want. I actually have been watching it. Yeah. I'm sick of him. Are you? I'm kind of. I mean, like, I'm it seems like every quarter. Do you think for it's our for our you know this this space? Um, there's someone new who comes out about some crazy shit. Do you think this is that bad? When it rains, it pours. Well, I don't know if it's just a hiring thing. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. so I just don't know. I didn't watch any of these videos. You're gonna have to give me the deep. The deep oh, you didn't? To be honest, I don't blame you for not wanting to watch a fucking hour long video. That's an hour long. I didn't even know it, that. It also starts off like the one thing I don't like about it is that it's a serious topic and he starts off well, like, like doing around. content cop. Like he's basically doing the here. I'll show you real quick. They start off the video literally doing content cop and the victim in this is like doing a skit with him. I'm hungry. All right. Jokes for food. I wish a philanthropist YouTuber would just give me 10K and not film it. Hey, hey, what the hell happened to you? Mr. Beast, that's what happened to me. What we do here is go back, 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 back. What back, do you mean you've never seen a man with that Kyle skinny of a leg? I mean, look how oh, skinny and white his legs Kyle are. Kyle like that! Kyle like that! He's the worst of the today! So the, like, they're doing like a Mr. Beast content I cop. hate this. Scootish is like. But Scootish's leg is not like that. He has some muscle on it. You've never been in the emo scene, honey. Yeah, dude. I've been in the emo scene. Their legs are like this big. Yeah, I know. How does that happen? Atrophy. What? No, I know. He has nice legs. He has nice legs. So, anyways. Look at you strays. You're mistreating me like Mr. Beast. I want to see you on the streets of New York, homeless, saying A Rebs ruined your life like this guy did. Yeah, I don't think people. Yeah. I don't know that I don't think he could ever cancel us because he'll have to say the name of the podcast, which would just be inherently racist. So he'll be like, he he'll be like, you. a bunch of Arabs ruined my life. They were they treated me so poorly. <laughs> and then the halal cars gonna be like, yo, we're not giving you fucking food. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> just opened up his DS. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, can I just say one more thing before we get to Mr. Beast? Uh, Scootish told me I was wrong. Whenever I said halal was a Muslim thing, it's no, it's not. It's a type of cuisine. No, nope. <laughs> yeah. it is a type that. of cuisine in New York. N Dude, no, buddy. oh my halal god! Halal cart is the halal cart is because That's it's crazy. halal meat, which no. is, it's not like oh halal is a sandwich. You, the only reason you think it's a type of cuisine is because you associate Arabic food with halal, making you inherently 
kind of racist no, in that situation. In, when, okay, in DoorDash in New York, you can there's like literally all the cuisine options, and halal is a cuisine hey, option. Yeah, 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 but halal yeah, because is a type. It's, a it's blessed. You it's can like get kosher. halal Thai no, food. I, I understand. But no, you, but I, no, you're saying I that, get what you're saying. Then what am I saying wrong? I'm no, no, confused. New York is wrong, and the fact I that they think, no, 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 hold on. What you're saying is that DoorDash has a bunch of options like Chinese food, Japanese food, halal, but halal is not a type of food. It's how the food was prepared. So it gives you a bunch of different options. And if it's halal meat or but halal, in, it's blessed. Or but he's right. Is, yeah. In New York, they call it halal food, but it's just Arabic food. Yeah. That's the problem. They're just, they just labeled Arabic food halal in New York. Okay. But it is not a, it is not a cuisine. Good. Okay. We fix, we fix right, let's them. move on. We so, educated our producer. Uh, so, anyways, so since the uh, <laughs> since the uh, since the uh, allegations came out last week, we covered it. You guys were like, "Whatever." It wasn't that crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't. That, it, wasn't it wasn't that bad. Can last I get week. water? Yeah, yeah. Go get some water, dude. She's thirsty because she had to do a dance, and I I would not let up about the choreography of that dance. Okay, I'm not thirsty because of that. I'm thirsty because I need water. I have had water in days, All right. weeks, months, years. Well, I'm not going to put that on my wall. Okay. So anyways, keep talking to me. What's going on? So anyways, what you just watched was the beginning of the video. Uh, Dogpack 404 released yes. the second video. All right. Uh, he interviews a uh, creator uh, or someone who was on Mr. Beast's channel. His name is Jake. Uh, Jake Weber. Uh, and, you know, shout out to Jake Wait, is Weddle. is it Jake Weddle? Uh, no, J it's Jake Weddle. not Jake Weber. No, no. Jake Weddle. Sorry. Yeah. So Jake Weddle used to be on the channel. Um, and... I watched the full video the moment it came out. It had like almost, God, like 500,000 people watching it live when yeah. it came out. And he had like, and essentially Jake uh, was part of Mr. Beast. And the allegations are that there were two main things. Uh, Jake said that the culture there was just not great. Uh, some of the people were cool. Some of the people were bad. This is the company. This isn't Jimmy. Yeah, it's a company. Um, then the second thing was that Jake participated in a, a hundred days in solitary confinement challenge, uh, but they didn't turn the lights off, which is a crime under the Geneva conventions. It's sleep deprivation and they had no clock. So he had no idea what time it was. He didn't know when to sleep and basically had a full on like mental breakdown. Yeah. And then during the challenge, Mr. Beast made Jake run like a marathon and he like it like fucked up his legs and his feet. So Jake had like a full on mental breakdown and he had to have psych come in. His friends and family needed to show up the day that he left. And at the end of the video, uh, you know, the big reveal, which we're going to go through, uh, is that Mr. Beast uh, employed a PDF file mm -hmm. uh, knowingly and not just a PDF file, but a convicted with a charge for engaging in acts with someone under the age of 11. Uh, and they already knew about that conviction, and they still hired him anyway. What was the role they hired him for? Uh, he was in the videos, and he was uh, upper management, I believe, at the time. Oh, yeah. Can I be a bad. dick? Yeah. Yeah, go. It's bad. It's bad. No, I mean, like, what I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah she's what warning you. The way the victim explains the story pissed me off. It is. Everyone got upset. I think that, like, the reason why, if we were, when I was, like, putting this all together... Uh, everyone is like, why? Like people are just finding him cringe. Like people are like, he's cringe because he, he's very uh, comic coded. He's like a stand up comedian, and he's talking like very like, oh my god! Like he's very like animated in his speech. But you could tell that there's like it actually happened. I mean, the fact of the matter is, if I put you in a room, turn on the lights, left you in there for ten. No, days. No, I'm not saying it didn't happen. But I'm saying the way he explained it was so cringe. And if that's stand up comedy. Then I guess I'll never fucking No, it was laugh. just the way he talked. The way he I, talked was... I think he processed the trauma through, like, his com comedic, comedy. Com comedy. But, like, in the video, you can see, like, he needs to do this. Otherwise, like, it fucks him up so much. Because he's, yeah. like, broken in the, yeah. in the video. Yeah, and, and basically there was a couple things, like, where Jimmy was, like, saying, like, can you say this one more time with the camera? Like, I'm going to pay off my student loans. Like, it was very much, like, a poor, poor prawn. You know, I don't want to say this to get, like, demonetized. Okay. Okay. So essentially, I'll show you some clips from it, but l l let's get into it right now. Sure. Here's some clips uh, from Jake. Be back the last this is them. Jake ends up getting, he works for Mr. Beast. One of the allegations is he worked for Mr. Beast. He went to ask for a raise. He asked another guy to come in with him during the raise and say, let's ask for a raise together. They both got fired the next day. 
Sorry. Okay. He Didn't brought the other guy was like, he was crying because he was like, dude, this dude, he describe he describes him as a black dude uh, with kids and a family. Why do you quotate black? Because just, is he not black? He is black, but it's also like, it, it was just like, why do you either? That could be all good. Yeah. So either, either he was describing him that way because. Look behind you, maybe. Keep going. I wouldn't describe someone by their race unless there's an allegation of racism or an allegation. I mean, True. there was. Fair. Yeah. He said that the black guy got paid less than he did, and yeah, he did the same was, job. Sorry. Well, there yes, you go. he did describe it. Okay. okay, then it's justified. Sorry, my bad. Um, so anyways, he ends up going in there with him, and he's like, I'll just come in there with, with you to help you out. And then basically, they both get fired. <laughs> got it. And he was already getting paid less than, than Jake. So anyways, so this is them. They call him back to work, and they're like, hey, you know, he was like, publicly, I was really nice to them because I wanted to get more, you know, I wanted to get, I wanted to go back and do stuff for them. So they call him back and this is how they pitch him what he's going to be doing. I got to get rid of, you know, today. And it's like the choice. They were like, uh, it's only going to be bad for maybe the last like five days tops when you have like nothing left. You're the first. It's going to be like a breeze for most of it. And uh, by the end of it, after 30 days, you're going to get $300,000 because it's $10,000 a day. And I don't know, man. I grew up poor in North Carolina. I said, blah, 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 excuse me. You, I'll yell dance for you if you put that kind of money in my face, sure. They were like, you're going to be locked in this room and we got to make sure you're on all the time. We're going to have cameras on you all the time and you're perfect for this because you never shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, on, on paper, I was like, okay, I can do this. And, and I was, they always, they always cut me out of the videos. They always, and I was, you know, editors have told me that uh, it's because you have too much of a personality. And so with this video. I What's crazy is that personality thing I had heard rumors of that that they get on mr beast if you too have too much of a personality they'll cut you or like jimmy will like i've just heard that as a rumor yeah because they don't want you to be the entertainment they want yeah the they want jimmy jimmy's the entertainment i've heard that yeah and i don't know if that's true but i've heard that well, uh right. it's, good. it's good have you heard that yeah okay so it's good, heard that's that good so, so that's two yeah, that's two so anyways uh so the other thing is that they said you're gonna have an ice cream machine and a hot tub in there which pH expert. If you're not checking the pH of that hot tub every single day and you're not putting in the chlorine, that hot tub is going to go rancid real quick, which is what he's describing. Do right you really now. have to check it every day though? Yes, because those hot tubs aren't like a good system. They're not a good filter. I mean system. yours. Yeah, mine's shitty. Mine's like this one. It's like a pickup you put down. It, okay. 180 gallons in a tub. Okay. Hot tub expert here. 180 gallons in a tub. Anything could fuck up the pH because it's so little amount of water. But if you have a pool with 10,000 gallons, it's not going to fuck up the pH. That pH, that pH crazy you were on was a wild. It was a wild. I'm still on. It was the, a wild three months. But I was really on the pH. Crazy. But like you were like testing pH and everything. Like your shower water, you were testing. The I pH. was not testing you my were, shower you, water. You hooked up with a girl. I just got, you were testing her pH. It I was wasn't like bad. testing women's pH. You would go up to That's women insane. in bars and with a pH strip, and you'd be like, "What's your pH? Uh, I can't talk." Normal. What's How do your you pH? know? Check it. Because I don't have vag vaginal issues. Let me check your pH. <laughs> I thought she was about to say, I don't have a right vagina. Here, all right. I don't have a vagina. All right, here we go. <laughs> My pH is probably all fucked up. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Your <laughs> pH is probably, probably all bad. fucked up. This is perfect. It's a video they can't cut me out of. I'm the guy. And so I thought, well, if I have to do this, if I have to do... Oh, the challenge was also $10,000 a day if he stays in there. He can stay up to like 100 days. He, so. Oh, cool. Solitary confinement in order to... I would have just stayed in there one day. And I want like, I, then I will do that. that I, I would have stayed there the entire fucking month. I pride and I tried one, 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 one I one would. I uh, and uh, I get there. And at first it's fine. And uh, I mean, they, they had just freshly painted the set. You could smell it, you know? Which that's probably not good. You know, the smell of fresh paint in your surroundings for the next xyz time uh it looked good on the visual like the key is he just checking camera. his notes no no he was looking down a lot of people kept saying it was notes but it really is like uh usually if someone's like is he like processing processing okay usually usually if you're like body language style if you were look i'm not an expert you know i'm not trying to but i know that body language style if you're looking up People think that that's a lie, but it has to do with like clusters. It's not just one thing. Like if you look down, clusters are a great snack. You know, it's like if you're doing five different things that tell it's a lie. It's not just one little thing. You can't just look down and go, "Oh, he's lying." He looked down. That's not how it works. Right. Exactly. It's like a bunch of different things. Right. Like Frogan does that. So he basically describes. Like yeah, Frog Frogan's always. You lying. also do that. What? 
Yeah, you do. I'm not frantic. I, I can look people in the eye. What is this? What is happening right now? Testing her. Okay. Anyways. You, though, when you're ever having like any kind of thought, it's hard to tell if you're lying or not. I'm just going to say that. It's hard to tell. Really? Yeah, because on your daily, you're like this. And I'm like, is he formulating a lie? Or Am is I spazzy? He, Am I spaz? Always, you always do that, yeah. Whenever we have conversations. Like, this is the straightest you've looked at me in a long <laughs> Am time. Am I spaz? Whenever you're explaining something to me, you do this. And I'm like, okay, he's thinking about it. He's I'm grabbing thinking. it. But then when you lie to me, you also do this. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, dude. I don't know if he's telling the truth or he's lying. <laughs> I never know. That's his poker okay, face. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Why would I high five you for lying? Because you never know. Okay, here we go. Let's keep watching. Yeah. Speaking of smelly, dairy, mildew, like, so I got to choose which sense was assaulted at a time. I, I couldn't have all of them good. Uh, uh, so the, the little thing started to build up. You know, there was like a, a, the bug thing wasn't like terrible, but it was a factor. And like at first it was fine, you know, and you're, you're, you're playing it up. Like, because you know, it's a video. Who the fuck is and that guy? It, He's the interviewer. That's dog pack. Why'd they, sure. why'd they show him? It's just bad editing. Why'd they show him in a police uniform? It's content just weird. Cop. It's like the serious amount of it. It's like content cop. He's trying to do content cop. But he eventually gets into the fact that like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. He He's eventually tired gets, of people. If you have something serious to say, I don't care. Like, just be serious. It is, He's it like, oh, yo, I know it's thinking a lot of views on YouTube. I need to make it as entertaining as possible. I'm not, I'm not shaming him for being a victim. He's a victim. But I'm like, also like, dude. Like, the, guy well, the, victim, the victim is different than the guy who made the video. Yeah, that's what, what I mean. I'm saying. Yes. So, so anyway, so it basically gets into this. Yo, and... It got to a point where, like, they weren't they weren't turning the lights off. You know, I asked them, I said, can we, like, have, like, nighttime hours? You know? And they said no, because it would fuck up the time-lapse shots. The time-lapse of what? Me sleeping? Or me not sleeping? Yeah, I saw in other videos they did, a uh, like, oh, you're going to get XYZ hours of sunlight. Oh, great! Well, I don't know how they figured that one out. I didn't have it. <laughs> you know, I did, one of the things was you got to take away your clocks. You didn't know what time it was. Okay, I got no access to sun. I got no access to clock. I don't know, like... That was what, when I watched it, I was like, that would fuck me up. Like, to be in a room that the lights are on 24 hours a day for 30 days with no... That would fuck you up, not the pH of the hot tub? The, P the hot tub smell and the pH would fuck me up. But the room, you're stuck in solitary confinement. They put them in there with an ice cream machine and a hot tub that wasn't being fixed. So, okay, so that's all bullshit. But the second thing is... You are literally also the video never aired that he was in because it was just I, apparently they said like the editors were like, it's just disturbing. Mm -hmm. Like he was trying to do bits, but he was all fucked up in the head. And uh, but the thing is, like, it's just classic torture. Like if you put someone in a room, you take away their clocks. They have no idea what time it is. You're just torturing someone. Remember that time that I did the fucking stream when I was in the, the shower with the fucking How can box? I forget? that shit fucked me up. That shit fucked me up. And I'm like, I know it's funny. It's like content and shit. Like, oh, it's content. It's content. But like, this is torturing yourself for content, you know? And he's like, yeah, you're making $10,000 a day, but how many days are you willing to go like to torture yourself for personal gain or money or something like that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like, would you do that? Would you go a hundred days? Just a pure torture. Like if you were losing your fucking mind, you would do that. I think that like you I've said, gone 29 years of it, buddy. I think people say that. But it's it's fucked up. I think it's inherently fucked up. I think that like what it sounds like through this video, what I've kind of learned is they didn't have a good HR team. There was inherent pressure because they said like, you just have to go 30 days and we'll have a good enough video. Mm. But it's like, we'll have 30 days of footage. And it's like, he was like, I couldn't say no. I was losing my fucking mind. And I couldn't tell them no, because essentially if I told them no, there was a full set, a full crew, I'd fuck up the video. Right. And like at some point I felt fucked. And I was just like fucked in the head. And like, as I watched this, I was like, dude, if this was me, like, like someone like who already has anxiety and they put me in that condition and they wouldn't turn off the lights and they asked them like, no, it's going to fuck up the shots. I'd, I'd lose my fucking shit. It's torture. It's torture under the Geneva conventions. It's illegal. It's an international law. You right. You know? Uh, so anyways, um, there was, uh, there was more to this story, but essentially Mr. Beast at one point comes in and tells him, uh, um, here, let me walk. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> Hold on. And that's when so, breaks and, uh, I asked the Rick's cube thing, and based on all the other stuff, like, you gotta, 
there was so much pressure to just do it, just do the thing, you know, you, then you get up and I, if, if I refuse, it's just, oh, that's the whole video. I guess the budget's, you know, so much money up in flames because Jake said he wouldn't want to do the thing. And so I wanted to be a good sport and I wanted to get the boost and I wanted the cash. And so I start running at 12. Um, so this is him. Mr. Beast, after a while, says, come and run a marathon. And if you run a marathon, you'll get some extra money. And he's like, dude, I'm not ready to fucking run a marathon at all. And then basically he runs a marathon and his feet were just all blistered. He couldn't walk. And after the video was filmed, there's like text messages from friends and family and crew members going like, hey, are you able to walk? He's like, just saw a therapist. Like he had serious psychological issues. He had serious physical issues. It was fucked, man. It was, I mean, th th like you think about it. It's like, dude, if I put you in solitary, didn't let you to sleep, fucked with you and then turn on the lights, it's like no amount of money. I mean, this, this guy's clearly seriously like affected by it still to this day. Uh, yeah, I was able to take some breaks and uh, I asked him, how long do I have? He goes, until I get back. <laughs> and I'm, I'm running until 3 a.m. I got off the treadmill. Oh, the blisters I had on my feet were like, you wouldn't believe. It's all over, just these big red. I couldn't, I couldn't walk. My, my, my muscles were like just the lactic acid, I, I, I got off the treadmill and then the people that came in to like ice my feet, you know, make sure I was good. Then that's when I was like, I'm done. I can't, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> and that's when, um, yeah, uh, get psych in and I talk to the psych about how I'm uh, not well. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was, it's just, you know, I get it, you know. Like I said, there was a lot of good people over there that was saying, you got to pull him out. Yeah, I had friends uh, that did some freelance work. Couple and uh, they, they, they would tell me, they'd be like, like yeah, everyone knows you over there. Everybody loves you. They go, uh, oh, Jake, well, I don't love that guy. Shame what happened to him. <laughs> like I'm a ghost. <laughs> so, and I asked him, I said, I said, how much longer are you guys going to keep me in here? And the guy goes, realistically like at least seven more days uh, no no and they didn't let me leave right away either they wanted to make sure yeah you know, everything was fine so i just you know slept for a while they turned the lights off <laughs> and uh they, they brought it's like they brought in all my friends you know to make it <laughs> What's crazy is like basically when he's about to leave, they're like, now we can turn the lights off. Yeah. You know, so they brought in all his friends to make sure he's okay mentally. No, I mean, the, that's what they do at every end of the Mr. Beast video. Oh, really? There's a yeah. challenge like that. They brought in all the people I liked and Jimmy. <laughs> then everybody was around me making sure I was good, making sure I was okay. Damn. But Jimmy had his like, he was sitting in the chair, turned around like an evil villain. Swear to God, everyone was looking at me, and he was like Lex Luthor over there. And he turns around, he stands up. Oh, he, did the, he does the exact same thing when he's pretending to have a human connection. You know when you're watching a video, and he's um, he's like, oh, stop, you're going to make me cry. And you're like, touch. I've seen him do that, by the way. <laughs> I've seen him do that, you know. Touches his eye or whatever as if he's crying. He's not, he's just... I didn't have to pretend to do that shit. She says, uh, you know, as, as if rehearsed by his lawyers. Uh, yeah, you know, your mental health is the most important thing. You know, just want to make sure you're okay. And the last thing we want you to do is... I can almost hear the word Sue come out of his mouth. The S. He just, he just stopped right before it got out. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, hard to watch. That's tough. It's hard to watch, dude. Well, I know you didn't, you hadn't seen it. Yeah. Um, so it was tough, man. It was tough. Uh, basically a lot of people were like calling him cringe and I think just think it's his mannerisms. Like it comes off, like it's such a serious topic and he's like doing the, it's just how he's coping with it. I get it. It's just how he's coping. Uh, but it ends the beginning up getting of the video. I was like, I don't know. That's what a horrible way to set the tone of this. Yeah. Well, it's the guy who edited it. Dog pack did it weird. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. So what a horrible way to, it was, a, it was a good interview. Start the video off. Yeah. 
And then what it ends up getting into, which is even it's more. It's not even an interview. He's, Doc Pack wasn't saying anything. He was just listening. He was just him. listening to him. Yeah. And then what it ends up getting into is that. The reason why is Doc Pack didn't have a mic. Oh, yeah. He's like, I don't oh. have two mics. I'm like, homie, you're making a the video on Mr. Beast. You could borrow a mic. You literally can't ask somebody for a mic. You can't. Go to Best Buy, just grab Go a mic off a credit yeah, card and return it. Yeah, do anything. Come dude. on, man. So anyway, so essentially, which is good because J- uh, Jake's story is good. Yeah. Uh, and then what ends up happening is that they get into this part, which is the most damning, okay. horrible part. Sure. Which is that. He's on the registry for doing some not great stuff to some underage people. There is a. Uh, and they knew that. There is a. Uh, PDF file who worked for Mr. Beast. Okay. Who was in videos that they covered his face and they called him Delaware. And he was Delaware because apparently he couldn't go back to Delaware. Mm-hmm. That's what they claimed in this video. And he is a registered uh, PDF file for doing something with someone under the age of 11. Right. One to um, 11 years. Like we just saw. Uh, which now was confirmed, but let me just show. show yeah. He's bringing a channel that has underage people on and around and is targeted to underage people. And they covered up the fact that not only did he work there, but he was like the manager when it all started. And you know that he knew and because he'll be in videos, he'll be in thumbnails, he's, he'll be around. And whenever he, he, he is, his face wearing is wearing a mask. Out. Why would you wear a mask? Why would you conceal your face? It's like, you, what, what are you concealing? That you are in registered sex offender? And that your face could be looked up on a thing? How much? So basically, uh, uh, it, essentially that they, they knew, they concealed it. Um, there's, uh, there's even more footage that just surfaced, like, I think today or a couple days ago. Okay. Of... Him we got videos. clearance from her brother and her husband, so uh, we should be good. We're gonna destroy everything in this house and then replace it with new, better, more expensive things. Basically, give her a home make oh and surprise her. Like, what? Your wife's in Connecticut. This is actually perfect. What is if they literally that? trashed everything? It's, that's the guy. It's this guy right here. Uh huh. And this is Jake the Viking who used to be on the channel who was kicked off, but this is it's his brother in law. He even came out and said. Uh, here's the truth. Yes, Delaware is my brother-in-law. Yes, he's an RSO, registered uh, S, you know, SA right. PDF file. When he was 21, a 16-year-old girl accused him and others of SA when she was 11. Delaware took a plea deal. That's why there's no jail time, but he had, still had to register. His nickname isn't Delaware because he can't go back to Delaware. He's from Delaware. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He's been back several times. He was hired before I was, and he's actually the reason I got hired at uh, Beast. Uh, before being hired, Delaware sat down with Jimmy and Sue, Jimmy's mom, and explained to them everything. So yes, Jimmy knew. But again, this incident happened in 2010. Delaware was hired in 2017, 18. Delaware was able to go. Uh, he sat down in front of Jimmy and Jimmy's mom. I guess at the time it was probably, it was probably, uh, I guess his mom helping him run the company. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Uh, this is his out. This is what he's saying. Right. Uh, let go from the company before I was. Delaware was supposed to be behind the scenes manager, but in a couple of videos, he was asked to partake because we needed people. He was reluctant, especially in the straight jacket video because of his charges. And that's why he wore the mask. Uh, Delaware's charges are set to be dropped this fall. It's, you know, your charges don't get dropped. You know, you know, this is just my yeah, you opinion. Don't get, you don't, you yeah, don't get there's dropped. No charges. They just get expunged yeah, off your exactly. record. Uh, dropped meanings that that you never get charged. He's, he's no, he convicted. doesn't go to, he doesn't get jail time or yeah. he doesn't uh, get, this is also my opinion, pay anything in my opinion, but he's still registered, you know? So yeah. So it's, you don't get unregistered. It's unless it's, your case gets thrown out. Well, it right? just, it just, it just depends. Uh, Delaware has been nothing but a good person, an amazing husband to my sister and the be- best father to my two nieces that I could ever ask for. They want no part in this. They just want to live their lives and from away from the limelight. I understand why everyone would be upset and frustrated over these allegations. I don't blame them. Hurting kids is, in, in any way completely unacceptable in this case in, but in the case of Delaware I firmly believe that he did nothing wrong look forward to the days the charges are dropped the charges won't be dropped uh, they'll just be removed from your record but okay. right uh yeah, especially for this Jake the Viking character uh he's the gu- he's the guy who's been claiming all trans people are uh PDF files right and then to little it's always the people that go those are the PDF files. Don't look yeah, at my family. Yeah, you're deflecting attention from your family. Yeah, don't look at my family. That's literally they're, what you're doing. You're the PDF file. And then, yeah, so basically, um, everyone's like, dude, go fuck yourself. Like, you literally have been, uh, 
uh, calling, you know, trans people PDF files. He's super, you know, transphobic and then literally gets literally just goes, oh, there's a PDF uh, in your house. Literally. And oh, I love him. He's a good guy and he hasn't done anything wrong. Uh, you know, the only thing that like in the guy's favor, and this is not like me trying to play, you know, trying to, you know, discredit or whatever. I'm just saying that he was 16 when he committed these acts. He was also a minor. Oh, he was 16. He was 16. The victim was 11. Got it. So maybe he was like, oh, I was stupid. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I'm just saying that that's, Brogan's looking at me. I'm just, I, I'm just saying that that's what people have been saying. I'm what not, are you thinking? Why are you disgusted? Still, uh, no, we're still saying it's no, bad. No, it's still really bad. I'm not, I'm, dude, I'm not defending. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> Cruz on the verge of justifying here's, it. Here's, <laughs> I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying that it look, it, it's, it's really bad. It's really disgusting. The framing that I saw in the video was that is, as is if that, he was like a 30 year old yeah, and he was happened recently. with an 11 year old. It's still, gross. it's still gross. Okay. It's still gross. I'm just saying he, uh, he was also a minor when it happened. So if I was Jimmy and I'm like, and, uh, and Jimmy's mom, and he, he may be like, Oh, I was just a kid. I didn't know any better. Blah, blah. It's also fucking like 16 to 11 is a huge, that's a huge difference. That's so pretty gross. Still you know, gross. Yeah. I think that might be more gross. No, it's not more gross. It's, it's, it's the same it, amount of gross. It's infinitely it's all the same. Gross. Uh so anyways. Frogan. I'm just saying. It is gross. Thank you. The high schooler with the like elementary school. Yeah, that's fucking gross. Oh. <laughs> like a sophomore in high all school. All of our faces in the, in the studio just went like Ugh. Well, he what also is gross about it is that Jake is being like they accused him, and he just pled. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. I don't think it's no. Uh, what were you saying? No, it's. I don't just want to move on. I want to move on. We're move gonna, on. Let's move on. Yeah. It's. I don't. Can, for yeah, for the love of God, we. I am having a. Like, we cannot not cover someone being a PDF file for a fucking week. For a week. We've done it for. Uh, we've done. We've covered people being PDFs for a straight month I'm of episodes. I'm so tired of it. I'm sick of it. Can we talk about something fun again? Yeah, we will at the end. We're almost done with this. So then, um, this is my this is my torture. This is me in a in a solitary confinement moment. So, in more more allegations are surfacing now regarding what Beast's uh, ex girlfriend posted. Which can I say something? Yeah, I found it, and and maybe it's just me. I'm just saying it was me, but I found it really weird that Beast had a, a girlfriend. And I, as I'm not a fan, and then she kind of just disappeared one day from like the videos. I thought she was, I thought he's married. Is he not married? No, he's not. He got a different girlfriend. Right. Um, his girlfriend requirements are kind of wild too. Yeah. His requirements are weird. It's weird. Okay. He has I a checklist that you have to meet every requirement of. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like Kyle Gordy. Very weird. Anytime that I have a checklist, like you need to meet these requirements to be with me. That's fucking insane. You're fucking weird for that. I'm sorry. That's fucking weird. That is weird. It's fucking weird. One it's, time it's, I it's one, cringe. One, one time I was on Hinge and and a girl actually had a boyfriend application. Like I had to fill out an application. Fucking insane. I was like, this is weird. I'm sorry. You're fucking weird if I'm you're like, you need to meet these requirements. I'm so special. Nobody's special. We're all pieces of shit. Get I'm over special. It. Okay. Anyways. So I uh, uh his girlfriend posted something vague posted, or his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, and it was like I've spent years being quiet, never acknowledging that in, in uh, time in my life, just quietly cheering on those who I mis uh, who I saw mistreated. I don't want drama. I don't want anything. I just want to speak up for my 19 year old self. 19 to 21 are formative years as a young woman. It impacted me the way I saw myself, the way I interpreted my future, and how I trusted men. There was no user manual. There's no instructions on how to deal with gaining a following uh, quickly. No cheat sheet on dating someone famous. I did the best I could, but I was not okay. Months of therapy, so many journal entries, long talks with my mom. Why do I still feel like all this for nothing? Uh, I believe I should be used as a cautionary tale. If something is too good to be true, it probably is. How he treats other wo women will ultimately be how he treats you. You are smart, beautiful, and capable of career, life, and relationship. You are proud of. I do not aim to take down anyone. I just simply explaining, explicitly tell you that there are scary people out there, people that will hurt you, use you, spit you out, and tell you that it's your fault. It's all of our jobs to protect our friends, our moms, our wives, our sisters, our daughters, us, ourselves for people who people like this. If you see something not cool, speak up. So Can I ask you a question. It was uh, a lot of people came after her. For Go saying, back to that for a second. Yes. 
Did she post that with her photo on it? Yeah, she posted it on her Instagram. Why can't why can't people just post something without having like an artistic purpose on it? I mean, if she's a victim of something serious. Yeah, but why put your photo on it? I, I just, I don't, I mean, like, I'm sure, like, you know, like, I'm sure it's all in good faith, but, like, I just don't get it. You know, everything has to be, like, content or everything has to be, like, an art, an artsy way. That's something serious. You don't need to put your photo on it. I don't know. And maybe it's just me. Uh, it, I feel like for me personally, it just takes power away from what's being said. I agree. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people, a lot of people, it was really nice. A a lot of people went after her and saying it was just too vague. And it was, is it though? I mean, it's her fucking story. She, yeah, she vague. She she doesn't have a responsibility to be like, yeah, the X, Y, Z. It's it's her fucking, it's her fucking, it's her autonomy. So that came out also. So right now, uh, a lot of people are kind of waiting for a response from Jimmy. Yeah. And Jimmy is not responding. Uh, there's one more allegation that I saw recently. The video was, this guy already got like in crazy heat because he basically posted a video. I'm going to play like just a little bit of it, but he posted a video and then put up a fucking GoFundMe for $1.7 million and then like apologized and basically said, um, I truly am sorry. Every penny is being refunded. I just wanted to have the people that rock with me support me. It was a bonehead move, but truly no malicious intent. Again, I apologize deeply. Essentially I could play a little bit of it, but he went, it's a 23 minute video. And he does not get to the fucking point in 23 minutes until the last like three minutes. Okay. Right. But the last three minutes are the most damning and the most important uh, is it's that my idea. They, they love, love it. it. They, they hire him to come out. He goes to beast. He has a lot of receipts. So this is, you know, if this guy's lying, he fucking went through the ringer right. to get receipts. He's already got 2 million views. He goes to beast. This is not Jimmy. This is Mr. Beast Inc. Okay. Which yeah. is what which is what I've been hearing the issues are. Right. Are Beast Inc. Um, is that he goes to out uh to Beast Inc., tells them their ideas. They say, Oh, we're gonna hire you on a trial basis. Come and give us ideas. He gives them ideas. They said, Oh, you're fired. We actually don't want you. Thank you so much. Trial's done. Took his ideas, made a video. Didn't compensate him. Mm-hmm. Which is I would never ask a future employee like, hey, we're going to hire you. Give me ideas for a video because that's just insanely stupid because if you use it, then people are going to do this shit and be like, what the fuck, dude? I gave you the idea. So here's here's basically what he says. They set a date, they set a location, and now they have a new renewed budget for this video and everything's great. I'm so happy. I text all my friends. I call everyone. I'm like, yeah, dude. You know, they, and I got, and also, so after all that, I'm feeling great. I got a verbal confirmation that I was good. So essentially the video was supposed to be like a $1.7 million budget. He pitches the video. He's like, dude, the intro alone is going to cost $1.7 million. They were like, uh, he pitches it to the team. He basically said there's like a hierarchy of different, um, you know, people. And he was in like the middle of the hierarchy. So the person directly above him was like kind of pissed that he kind of went over him and, and gave the video and gave the idea. Yeah. The team loves it. And then he gets this after. Good to go. Everything was perfect. I know everything was literally perfect until I got home. Until I got home and that's when everything started to happen. Unfortunately, we have decided not to move forward with your candidacy at this time. We really appreciate you coming out and vibing with us. We could, we would consider you for a role like this in the future, but timing isn't quite right. Uh, and the rest are about receipts. So, at first I was like, you know what? Maybe that's, maybe that's true. But then I started to think about it a little bit more. I started to think about it a little bit more and I didn't, I didn't want to let it bother me. I didn't want to let it bother me. So I said, hey Dylan, that's a bummer to hear, but I appreciate the opportunity. Maybe another time, like you said, candidly, may I ask if I presented myself poorly or wrote the crew wrongly in any way. We're talking about my here because I know I did. Also, I sent my receipts. Uh, and I was just talking about my dog because uh, I, had spent, I had spent like $400 for my dog to be uh, boarded. So now that information, uh, he said, hello, Ty, you did not rub anyone uh, the wrong way or present yourself poorly. We're going through some reorganization with the team and are limited on roles we have open for... T- so essentially, after this goes on, he sees this. Not a single word until I saw this on Twitter. Just uploaded the most insane video we've ever done. Go watch. Take a look at this picture. Take a good, hard look at this picture. Does that remind you of anything you've seen so far? Does it remind- so this picture was the Mac video where he had to do the crazy obstacle course. Mm-hmm. And the obstacle course, uh, he basically pitched it as like Mario in real life with these things swinging. And they basically took his idea as what he's claiming. That's the whole video. Um, you know, his name is uh, T.Y. Orr. I think it's Ty Orr. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... Go, you know, you can go watch the full video. It's 20 something minutes. It's basically him giving the receipts, but that's another one that just came out 
literally yesterday I watched it. It's got 2 million views already. So I uh, just ever dude, it's like, it's like every day something comes out. And by the time we film this, something else will be out, you know? Right. Um, the main guy dog pack says there's a third video coming out with, uh, SA allegations and that they covered it up. The people at the company, the actual like CEO, mm -hmm. uh, covered up SA, but that well, we have to wait to see what that video is going to be. But essentially, uh, that's, that's the, uh, extent of it. I know that Jake, uh, Jake, the Viking and Jake Weddle, Jake basically on his own YouTube channel kind of went at Jake, the Viking because he was Jake, the Vikings like me and Weddle are on the same team. And then Jake, Weddle's like you're transphobic and you're you're a piece of shit. You <laughs> yeah, know we're not on the same. We're team. not on the same team. So he was just you know he also has his own videos on his channel. Um, but yeah, I I th Jake Jake seems like a nice guy. Um, Weddle Weddle yeah, not the Viking. Um, so great. Yeah. So so next week we'll have the next update for you essentially. <laughs> dude, it's it's just it's, gonna keep building up and keep what snowballing do you think, down. I'm so tired of talking about Mr. Beast. Are you? Yeah, because at the end of the day, nothing's going to happen. The His audience are mostly kids. Parents don't give a fuck about like what their kids are consuming on the internet. There's going to be no accountability. He's going to be able to move forward posting videos as is. You think he's too big to fail? 100%. Yeah. He's like the second biggest YouTuber. He is, I think he's the biggest now. I think he beat T-Series. Then yeah. He's, yeah, he's literally one of the biggest YouTubers, if not the biggest. He's not going to fail. It's important to hold him accountable, obviously. But it's just like I, if he comes out with a statement, I'm sure he's going to be like the statement. The statement he's going to make is like, hey, you know, like our day to day at Beast is not run necessarily by me. I'm the host. I do X, Y, Z for the company. But all this other stuff is through the Beast company. And then he's going to start saying, you know, as the owner of Beast, I'm going to take my take the responsibility and fire these people. He's not going to really take responsibility for anything that's mm -hmm. going on. He already on. talked about HR getting hired, which I, Jake was like, that's not true. There were already HR. Yeah. But I was like, how do you have a billion dollar company and now are hiring HR? That's yeah, fucking exactly. stupid. What it sounds like to me, uh, it sounds like he's going to wait. I, the only way that we heard about that is through Ludwig's video because Ludwig was getting so much pressure. We fucking Frogan talked about it that he finally made a video about it. And then Ludwig said that he talked to Jimmy before making the video or, or they talked and he was like, I'm going to wait till the last video comes out to respond. Yeah. And Ludwig called him out and said, like, you need to respond. And then he pulled out Feastables as the brand for the thing until Jimmy responds. The thing is, it's like all it's not just like one allegation. It's just a bunch. And I think the reason why is it's such a big fucking company. Yeah. Like, but it, it's, so far, like all these allegations, like it just it's it's the company that they're. Well, no, I mean, against. some of it's Jimmy knew about the, the PDF file. He right. hired him. Right. That's horrible. His ex-girlfriend talking about bad about him. Yeah. Uh, that's horrible. There's well, not allegedly, it was, it was too vague. It was vague. It was vague. But she did say YouTube, make sure you watch out who you put on the front page. Yeah, there you go. So. That's true. So, yeah, she also added YouTube in that. So that's the thing is like, how is Carl at fault? Let's make sure Carl gets the blame. <laughs> yeah, let's pin it on that fucker Carl. I like Carl. He's really nice. No, Carl seems very nice. Also, what they said like Carl. To, everyone, no like one to. has said, said anything bad about Carl. Yeah, so Carl's good. We got one. We got one. I don't think Carl. I think I'm sure Carl just I've comes met into him. the He's videos. He's super nice. Yeah, we also met Ava. So here, here was the yeah we did. Uh, here was the one thing that so here was the one thing that I that that uh, I watched. Do you ever watch Doctor Grande the the dude on YouTube, he's like the therapist that like breaks down people and sees if they're like psychos, but he's like, he's not diagnosing them, but he'll, he's Dr. Like, Grande. He's it's so boring, dude, but it's so interesting to watch. Cause he's like, hello, it's, I'm just going to show you one clip of it. Yeah. Let me see it. Let me see Dr. Grande. Yeah. You know, these things. Uh, I think he had a really good take, but also it was kind of cringe, but also good. You never seen this guy for again. This is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the controversy surrounding Jimmy Donaldson? He is also known as the most Mr. monotone ass voice I've ever heard in my life. Diagnosing anybody in this video. God, if Scoot Unless had a little bit more trauma, this would be him. Could be happening in a situation <laughs> like this. I'm so serious. If you had if you were like traumatized life, pretty bad, like this is how you would sound. He kind of like just has your up. look and vibe, I'm so but like happy. the op. No, that's what I'm saying. The I'm bouncy. Well, I know he has. The he opposite, does kind of have your look, dude. but it's the opposite. I'm saying if you were so beaten down, he kind of looks like you beaten good. down. I'm saying if you were so beaten down, this is oh, what you would fuck. become. Put your face in. Put your face in. <laughs> wait, wait, <Yeah>. guys, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> sit down, sit down. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Guys, if Skittish, if Skittish looks like him, oh, please fuck, comment, do. down <laughs> comment down oh, below. Comment down below. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, like, if you were really beaten down, like, and if you weren't such a joyous person. And you had you a really flamboyant shirt. No, you're not. You're like, not, you not like that, though. No, not, no, 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 don't. You should, we should not. Have, no, we shouldn't have Just get out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want allegations. Get out, dude. Get out. <laughs> let him let him rest. Okay, let him rest, rest for a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> Let's continue the video. <laughs> yeah. Get up. I farted. Good for you, I will No, bro, you remember he crop dusting us at Disney? That shit stayed. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about we'll that. Talk later. About that we'll second. talk about that in a second. So, anyways, <laughs> this, only one time. This dude had a good take, and I love it. Okay, where is his take? I'm not going to find it. So what is, is he like certified? He's a, he's a certified, uh, I think he's a psychologist. He said at the beginning, but you didn't listen to Dr. Grande. Okay? Yeah. Cause it put me to sleep. He, uh, yeah. But that's how, th that's how, that's how therapy works. That's how therapy works. That's how my, th my therapist works. doesn't put me to sleep. My therapist doesn't either, but they're not a doctor. Is your therapist a doctor? This is Dr. Grande with an E. So this is why he focuses on medication management and not fucking talking. To people. So anyways, Jimmy Donaldson. Okay. <laughs> Also, we kept saying his name was James last time. His first name is Jimmy, which is insane. Okay. Uh, the deal is he said that his content, he was like, basically like all this stuff is small and it's just building up because people like to build creators up and then tear them down because they, it's the one thing with content creators. You don't really see that with uh, actors because we don't technically prop up the actors. The studios do that. Like we build someone up and we tear them down. But he said something about his content that I thought was really, really smart. He was like, his content is like literally like brain rot for kids. He was like, it's just what would happen if someone made a shit like it's what kids think with no education. He's like, it's like Mythbusters without the education. And it's just not good content. Like it's it is good content, but it is just brain rot for children. And I was like, oh, that's actually kind of a good take. He's like, it's kind of like cereal without the cereal. It's just the sugar. Like, you know, so I was like. Okay, it's it's a good take. Like I get it because there are other YouTubers that do similar stuff to what Jimmy does, but they actually give some educational side, like Mark Roper or something like that. They're like, I'm gonna build this big giant thing, but I'm gonna explain to you science, and it's actually like he gets the views, and it's kind of a, it's a good take. It has nothing to do with these allegations, but I did enjoy that take. I was like, that is a good take. Like if he gave some educational side to it, it would be a little bit better. But he said the other thing is that kids eat this shit up, and then. You always have to outdo yourself, outdo yourself, outdo yourself. And that's like a never ending loop that at, at eventually you will reach a peak and then people will just be like, you suck. Like, you know, it was a pretty good. Does pretty he subscribe? Thing. Does he, does he prescribe us SSRIs at the end of this video? He or? does. At the end, he also says, if you watch Jimmy's content, you're probably 14 and here's some, you know, SSRIs. I, I like Mr. <laughs> I like Mr. Beast's content. I do. I, but I, I think that I'm a science nerd. That's what I watch. And like, to be honest, like if Mr. Beast had like a science spin on it, I'm not trying to tell, you know, Mr. Beast obviously knows, what, you know, the whole production, but if, but it, it's one of those things where he essentially says that it is just like, it's just excess for excess sake. And to me, the company runs exactly like it, like it presents itself as a capitalistic company, flexing capital, showing how much money they have. The videos are just flexes on money. They're incredibly expensive for no fucking reason. They're incredibly wasteful for no fucking reason. And I guarantee you the company is just as capitalistic and just as insane as the videos are. Because if you have a capital, you have a billion dollar company, you think they're going to be like, let's not cut payroll or let's not like use cheap labor. Ludwig said it in his video. He's like, me and Mr. Beast both have companies. Yep. Do his, and he said in his video, his is a fucking co-op. His is basically like the socialist utopia of like companies like REI, you know, Mr. Beast is running fucking Bass Pro Shop, you know, so it's just excess and, you know, cutting costs and raising capital. And it's it is like it is the peak of capitalism, like his company. That's that's my opinion on it. I think that hit a good take. Frogan, you don't like it. You like Mr. Beast videos? I mean, yeah, they're interesting. Yeah. They're entertaining. They are. If I want educational content, I'd watch I Did a Thing or Boy Boy. That's not education. 
Bro, you are such a what education? <laughs> what I love them, but like what education? Yeah, what education? No, what boy, do you mean? Boy, boy uh, is different. Boy, boy is different. I did a thing is a perfect combination of science and brain rot combined into one. He does not educate he does. on it, science. It, it is good science and brain rot. Wait, but what does he educate what, you what, on? I'm sorry. What? How to build a fucking shoe that shoots out bullets? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I quit the pot. <laughs> I quit. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, I mean, it. listen. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. I won five thousand dollars from oh I did a thing. God. She's biased. I won money from I did a thing for being the first person to solve a puzzle he put in in one of his videos. Yeah. Well, don't lock him out. He's my he's my in, he's my information. I'm so tired of talking about Mr. Beast, dude. Like, yeah, I'm exhausted from it. I don't care I about Jimmy. Um, I don't care. I'm tired of talking about him. At the end of the day, nothing's ever going to happen. That's my take. Yeah. And even if anything does happen to him, he's fucking set for life. He's good. He's fine. He's chilling. He's okay. I don't think anything noticeable will happen. Nothing, nothing bad's going to happen. He's going to continue posting as is. It's not going to happen to him. They're gonna, I'm telling you, he's just going to blame it on the company. It says he doesn't have any stake in it. And then he's going to say, oh, we're doing a reform at the company right now. And that's going to be it, dude. He's like, actually. Or he's going to blame it on his age. It's like, I was young. I just haven't, I, you know, I grew up in true. this. So, like, I, I, I can already see the apology in my head. He's going to be like, actually. So, Jamie, if you want the PR, just pay me the PR and I'll do it for you. He's like, actually, I'm not actually the CEO of the company. I have a CEO. <laughs> yeah. What if, imagine if he, imagine he comes on the video and he's just like, yeah, I did all that shit. And ends the video. <laughs> yeah, I, I did all that shit. Make sure you buy festivals at your local Target and Walmart. Yeah. Bye, bitch. It's like when Miskiff. A lot of men. It's like it's like when it's like when Miskiff, you know, after those allegations came out, and then he, his first stream back, he played like a like a video on. That was so fucked up. Yeah, it's just gonna be like that. <laughs> Why'd you lock me out? You said you quit. Your socks don't fit you. Let's talk about that. Let's move away from Beast. I'm, I'm, we're done with it. Dude. Can I do my capping thoughts on Beast? Yeah, let's finish. Yeah, You've been talking for cappers, an hour and a half. Cappers capped thoughts on about Beast. About Mr. Beast. Cappers capped thoughts on I'm Beast. I'm sorry we're talking about Mr. Cappers Beast. Cappers capped thoughts on Beast. Let me hear it. We need I, a jingle. I have a fear about the internet. <laughs> I do. I have a fear. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> on this podcast. Okay, blur all of that and bleep it. I have a fear about the internet. She can't do that. I have a fear on the internet that people just want to build you up and to tear you down. And it scares me. You just said that, but it's creepy. <laughs> it is creepy. Was that your conclusion of thoughts? No, he's not done. And? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know what was different than what he said before he left the room. And well, no, this is him saying it before he was saying what Dr. Grande yeah. was saying. And now he's taking what Dr. Grande said and making it his own. Yeah. By just saying exactly what he said. Okay. 100% yeah. of the shots you don't take, bro. Yeah. And? And? I think that. Yeah. That Mr. Beast is. Uh. I think that the company. Can you no. just say it? Okay, he's thinking, fine. He's no, thinking I think it. that the company needs to get restructured because I've heard horrible things from other people through rumors. Yeah. About the working conditions at Beast. Mm -hmm. I've heard so many damn rumors. People have sent me things that I don't want to. That I don't want. Anthrax. No, they watched the last video and then people were like sending me stuff and they were like, "I work there. It's bad." There's just there's too many people at the company that are saying it's bad. My bad. Like, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that uh, there's allegations that people are texting me about. I'm like, I don't fucking know. I would like to see the company uh, get restructured and, and be a, a suitable workplace. I agree. You know? That's all that's going to happen. Do you think that's all that's going to happen? Unless something bad. And that's all. I, that's, I mean, I mean, this is why you should support other YouTubers. Like I did a thing in boy. Boys. Oh, my fucking God. Or Daily Dose of Capri. You could follow right you just, now. No. I just shouted myself out on the pod. I didn't think of Boy Boy are genuinely the best YouTubers on YouTube, I think. I can't wait. Content wise. I will pay a million dollars if there's allocations of them. You know, what? I'm going to send this to them it's and have joke. them it's sue a you. Joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. That's no, not send real. this to them and say, hey, come to. back to LA so that you can come on this.
Thank you. Oh my Thank God, you. if they were on air, I'd You wouldn't say myself. anything. And I no, would. I would. No, I would. I would. <laughs> this would be Frogan Frogan. yesterday. Frogan, Frogan was like, in the post office yesterday, and she's like, wow. And there's a famous guy, a famous musician that she liked from a band that she loves, right? Yeah. And I was like, did you talk to him? And she's like, no. I'm like, dude. I didn't want to bother him. And he's right there. He could have just said, hey, I love your music. And then she's like, he looked really distressed. I'm like, he could have made his whole day. He's, Wait, who was it? It's Travis Mills. Oh, okay, I don't know who that is. He's, well, he, has, he had a show on MTV, and he's in this band called Girlfriends. I've met him before. Um, in 2021, I saw him a couple times with my friend. Um, um, so, yeah, I mean, if we, if we had them on, uh, Frogan, you, you would have to drive that conversation. I, that could be any I watch guy. Them. I, I watched them both. He, he's like, here, Most I watch them. Like, some of the only YouTubers I watch. Who? I did a thing in Boy Boy. Really? Yeah. Since when? I've been watching them forever. I I did a thing I watched forever because my friend was into woodworking and I was like trying to find him like something that he can make content like that. He's the dude who works for um Blape This. Okay. And uh I looked up woodworking and then I did a thing came up and then I started watching him after that. This is like years ago. And then Boy Boy naturally gets served to you and then I like their politics. Yeah, I wouldn't talk to him either, Frogan. Yeah, that's weird. That guy freaks me out. I wouldn't talk to him either. Um, uh, what, so yeah, what are we gonna t- let's talk about? Uh, let's talk about. Uh, I want to talk about Lebanon. I thought you said we're not talking Oof. about Lebanon. Let's talk. About Oof. It. It's gonna be a heavy episode. Let's talk about Lebanon. All right, let's talk about. I Lebanon. think it's important to talk about. Do you want to not talk about that? We can talk about the Olympic dancer. No, nah, we could save that. Let's, let's talk about Lebanon. Considering it happened three or four weeks ago, he, and we here's didn't the say th- a word here's about the deal. It. I'm gonna say this publicly because I know they're gonna watch. We need to get Anthony on the pod and talk about Lebanon with. Anthony, like I would even love if to it's do just, that. just Discord, you're coming on the podcast. Anthony, if hey, you guys Anthony? are not following, do not worry, pod, follow, do not Anthony worry. Anthony did say he's coming to LA in December. Yeah. So. We will is. have him on in person, but I want to talk to him now considering what's going on. I want to talk to you now, Anthony. Get your if ass. If we can get you on for the, even for the fucking, the private episode, fuck it. We'll do that. I want that. That's number one. Number two, uh, they skip to number three. Well, they bombed outside. My uncle passed away. And then they, this is the sad part. They had, my right. uncle passed away. And then they bombed outside of his house. Mm-hmm. But my dad, my dad is talking about going to Lebanon. You weren't there last night. My dad's talking about going to Lebanon in front of Scootish. Yeah. And I'm like, this is not a good time to go. And finally today he was like, oh, yeah, I guess it's not a good time. Because he sees his friends going. And I'm like, your friends are stupid. Like, don't listen to them. My dad was on the phone with my uncle whenever the bomb went off. That's and insane. my uncle lives like. In Daya. I don't know. I'm not going to say where he lives, but he, well, I mean, he did live like within the vicinity of where the bomb went off. And my dad like literally heard it on the phone. Why won't, why won't you say where he lives? I mean, like they live the, in Beirut. Who, yeah. Our viewers are all American for the most part. You but the thing gonna, is like, you think they're they going to fly could, out? Could, no, but no, you can figure like, out exactly yeah, the with name. Yeah, like, with Leb- like Lebanese people, like if I said my actual village, like you can know they like. The, they can go ask around. Yeah. Oh, that's true. So, so like, yeah, no, I, she's right. Rogan right. You what? Uh, no, but I was. <laughs> you're a piece of shit. You're trying to dox my friend here, buddy. I just don't give. A, who cares? Let him, let him dox us. Let him dox us, Frogan. I'm gonna say his full name, <laughs> and you're gonna leave it unbleeped. If they he, already said it on stream. It does it, Scooter did it first. <laughs> who did? Oh, he did. You yeah. did. For what? Boxing <laughs> raffle ticket. It's been out. I was not the first person to do it, and I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, hey, believe it. Um, you can leave it. I mean, uh, if you type my last name and you'll all come up. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Just be safe. But they uh, be safe. But, but I'm already off white pages, so we're good. Yeah. Well, they uh, <laughs> and I got my parents off white pages yeah. too. They uh, they my bombed- brother, however, is he still on? Find him. Okay. Um. <laughs> so yeah, my uncle that passed away, they bombed right in front of his house and my dad was like we should go but i'm like dude don't go and then they bombed right in front to kill the hezbollah guy and yeah. now now israel what i read right now while we were filming the pod while i'm doing the little jimmy b stuff which is like it's hard man you don't want to be like all arab shit all the time but they're, they're literally israel what do you mean saying, it's our fucking life i know but i'm saying that like personally like sometimes i need to break from it dude. i get that yeah. i mean we've been talking about pdf files for the last like 17 weeks yeah I mean, what a crazy break to have you know, it's either PDF <laughs> files or, 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 or Gen or, knows or, yeah. or Gen. I don't know. Or how you, Gen. 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 O. Gen. O. You, you say the last part. I'll say Gen. O. 
Nope, bleep it. Oh, Capri does this thing where he censors Palestinians on Twitter when he doesn't need to. <laughs> Do you know what's actually okay? That's not true. That's not true. Do you know who told you know? Capri's who Twitter's been pissing me off lately. We'll talk about that. Why? <laughs> that's not true. Your Twitter's been pissing me off. Why? Okay. Why is why is censor? Okay. You know who told me that? Her copain has the actual data when they said they're going to censor, censor Palestinian oh. content. It, his views went down half, like right within that week. How come I've never been censored? You when are I, censored. When I, whenever I tweet about Palestinians, it goes viral. Yeah, but you are censored. It doesn't. It may go. Vi it may go viral, but it goes less viral than it should. His stuff. It still goes tens of thousands of likes. Yeah, but you're a big account. You should be like fucking half a million likes. Not really. No. You're a big ass account. Anybody can go viral. I know, but like, the issue is that. I've seen it where I actually saw his analytics. I said it's censored. So I censored the word just because I think that Twitter is censoring it. Every other, every other platform is censoring it. I know for a fact, because on YouTube, my videos will absolutely tank if I put the word Palestine in it or in the title or in the thumbnail. So sorry, I bleeped the word Palestine. Is that the worst thing in the wor world? Me as a you know, Palestinian. No, what's worse is you glazing Kamala Harris. I didn't glaze her. I was literally saying, oh, she's learning. She's learning. She's learning. She's, she's like me and we're working really hard to uh, get a hostage deal and a ceasefire deal. You know what they did two hours before that speech? They gave the money. I'm talking. $3.5 billion to Israel. I agree with you. I agree. I'm, I'm just saying I'm, the pressure I will never, works. I will never. There's no. There's no pressure. I'm not glazing her. I'm saying that like she's learning from us. Like she's little. She's susceptible to pressure. Is what I'm saying. People have been mad at me on Twitter because of my tweets about Kamala Harris. Yeah, my mom will be mad too. No, I mean, listen, my queen. I don't have any opinions on her. Shut the fuck up. You I really don't. Not opinion. The last time you said you don't have opinions, everyone goes so. Raf's a Republican? Question mark. Is that what they said? Yes. Where? Prove it. In the comments. No, what, 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 oh, oh, that's a joke. Remember, They're no, joking. No, no, they were not joking. I'm I mean, if they, listen, if they listen, uh, uh, why, I don't, why, why do I need to tell you my political affiliation? That's yeah, what they that's said. what he said. He doesn't want to talk about his political affiliation. But if you listen to what he talks about in his views in the podcast, it's very clear what he views. Yeah. I'm sorry. You Bitch. Ha you I'm have Trumper. to. Yeah, I love Trump. I'm sorry. You have, <laughs> <laughs> Is it not fucking clear? <laughs> They're like, he loves Andrew Schultz. I do love Andrew listens Schultz. Listens to Joe Rogan. I really do love Andrew Schultz. And then he wants to go to Bass Pro I don't Shop listen to Joe Rogan. I listen to like 30 seconds of a Joe yeah, Rogan he, interview. Yeah, he did make me listen to a Joe Rogan episode. Who was before. on it? Bobby Lee. That's why. You know, I got canceled because on Spotify, my top listen to was pod was Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, why are you listening to Joe Rogan? I was like, it's a UFO. <laughs> yeah, the UFO thing. <laughs> UFO get Bob Lazar on, dude. You yeah, think I'm not going to listen to that? Zara. What do you want me to do? I'm listen to that. I enjoyed it. I like Joe Rogan. Here's the thing, like some people just don't want to identify with a political party, and I think that's okay. Like I don't consider myself a Democrat. No, neither do I. Um, and I won't tell you my political affiliation. But like, if you listen to what he talks and his views, you know what he is. Yeah, I'm Arab, exactly. <laughs> dude. Oh, and then someone commented this week and said, "I love your guys' comments." By the way, said I love, I love it. It was kind of racist, but kind of not racist. It could be not. It was like, I really like to see three Arabs support their culture, but also not be bigoted. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. You know, they're kind of onto something. That's pretty funny. <laughs> they're kind of onto something. It was, it was, it was funny. If it's a really white person, it's kind of wild to say. But if it's like an Arab person, I'd be like, yeah, I get you. I mean, that's the whole point of the podcast to personify Arabs. And I think in we did light. that. Yeah, I think we're doing it. Hopefully we're doing it in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're you're doing like, it very good You're not job. like what the TV shows Whoa, me. Whoa, you're not. <laughs> this is weird. What do you mean you don't have a bomb strapped to your chest? <laughs> I mean, I do, but <laughs> always. Some of the comments are that's called concealed so carry. fucking funny, dude, dude. By the way, chat. Oh, by the way, viewers. I'm never responding. I'll call to them the Hababies. Like, by the way, Hababies. I'm never responding to comments. So whenever Capri responds to something and pretends to be me, it's not me. I've never pretended to yes, be you. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you have. I did it like once. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I count and I scream out the throat because it's funny. So yeah, whenever he's pretending also, to be me. Also, I don't me, respond. I literally do not have access to the to the account. I can't respond to it, your. It, you could tell because he, he'll like pick up like slay and you chill You do that. say slay. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like that's, that's not me. <laughs> I have never done that. You have. 
No, I haven't. Yeah. There's one where they're like shitting on you for interrupting me, and they're like, and then you responded defending yourself as me. Oh, that was so long ago. That was yeah. a long time ago. That was Still a long happened, time though. ago. We've had many fights. I since literally then. said, we said, I put, we're all friends. We're all like, you know, because I don't like that. Because when we fight, people are like, I'm on Frogan's side. I'm like, motherfucker, we're on the same podcast. Like, what do you think? You know what? Okay. She's dancing now. You know what pisses me off? Can I tell you what really pisses me off? Other content creators, they film stuff together. And then basically what ends up happening is that they're not actually like homies outside of this shit. Uh, nobody really hangs out. It's all for entertainment, right? Mm. They'll be like, oh, we're friends. We're all cool. What is this? Yeah, like Raph and I, we don't really talk outside of content. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Wait, who, who said that? Or are you trying to make him mad or me? Why? Why do you say that? Why do you? Because I know it gets good as mad. Why? Why? It's just such a stupid thing to say. We don't really talk. We don't really hang out, me and you, outside of content. That's no, your fault. No, that's true, and that pisses me off. And I've expressed how mad it makes me all the time. I. Last night, we were supposed to go out for drinks, motherfucker. And I showed up to Dominic's house. And what were you doing with you and your oh, little... I did, I did blow you off the street. He blew me off and was live. And I walked into his room. He goes, what are you doing here? Number one, I didn't tell him that my family was there for a second because I was mad. I was like, we were supposed to hang out. But like, it's okay. Do your work. Uh, to, to be fair. To be so fair. This is what happened. It could. Uh, I know. Um... Disney was doing a big live stream. And it was exclusively... Yeah, exclusively the D23, right? Streamed. Yeah. Exclusively being streamed in Fortnite. I know. So it, be, it was supposed to start at eight thirty. I told you that. Uh, it was then delayed for forty minutes. Uh, so that's just what. That's what number happened. one. Number two, we hang out all the time. Number three, he says that, and I went over there and I wanted to hang out with him last night, and he didn't go anywhere. And then I asked Andrew, "Let's go out and let's go hang out." And nobody wanted to hang out, so I slept at ten last night, and it was sad. Don't you usually go to bed at 10? No, I go to bed at 12. And you loved it, though. You loved No, I didn't. I was depressed. I you, slept for eight and a half hours. Up? That's great. I've been depressed. Finally. Finally. But we're going out today, buddy. I know. I'm excited. Are, Are we? we? Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. I'm not seeing that. I, I, hey, oh. if I have to fucking see it, you have to see it. And also, I have no we are just watching it to shit on it. I love no, you, Bobby Lee what? and Jack Black. If I walk out, though, Hart. are we allowed to walk out if it's that bad? Yeah. We're going to... We can't. We have to no, suffer. No, because if there's nobody there, we got to make fun of it the entire time. Quick, quick sidebar though, I I went and saw Trap, the new M Night Shyamalan movie. How was it? Uh, it was M Night Shyamalan. So it, uh, great. Was there a twist? The twist. No, please don't ruin it. Oh, I love M Night. Okay. Uh, none of it was believable. It was a terrible movie. Terrible acting. Terrible script writing. The okay. last like two or three were kind uh, of like that. I, I watched the last Unbreakable. I didn't Dude, think it was bad. Since the fucking one where they're stuck in the elevator have been like that. Was that Devil? Yeah. Uh, Devil I actually kind of liked, though. Anyway, I, I go to buy the popcorn, and they have a claptrap popcorn bucket right now. Oh. And I gotta be honest, it's actually really high quality. The Is it arm, good? The arms move. It's a good... If you like Borderlands... Like, I'm like, I do like sick. Borderlands. That's sick merch. I would never get that, but I love I Borderlands. I don't like Dude, Borderlands. 20 bucks free popcorn. But I can just pay. I just pay the bucks. same twenty bucks free popcorn. It's not. I just don't really care that much. Yeah, I just don't want. I just I don't like, want that I, in my house. I like. I, I love I like Borderlands, which is why. The main hey, no, I'm having a good time. Hey, what time are we at? One sixteen. I'm having a good time. We don't need to no, end. We the need minute. a little bit longer. Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. No, have to be a podcast. Oh, we're doing good. Have to talk about something fun. That's yeah. not fucking Mr. Yeah. No, we. I'm having fun. Hey, are you having fun? Today's the That's first. Can I tell you something? Today, I was so depressed last night. Good. I was so depressed on Friday. Finally. That I was actually looking forward to filming the podcast oh. this week. Well, let me tell you something. Yeah. You Whatever need to get a nail. hobby. I ripped it off. I do have ah! a hobby. <laughs> you do not have a hobby. I went and I'm You don't looking, have hobbies. I'm moving. That's not a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> the way it's turning on you is insane. <laughs> You, you'd be vulnerable to your friend. Broken actually went out and hung out with a with a friend of hers yeah, that yeah. wasn't us for the first time yeah, in that's forever. Actually that's really amazing. Nice. I am. I was to, so happy for you. I'm like, oh my god. I can't leave because I have a little nutless over there. <laughs> <laughs> nutless. Ah. Here's the he thing. Is You're so dramatic with with Miles. He is nutless though. He's, he's nutless, nutless, but like he's fine now. But now that he's but now that his nuts are gone, he can leave him at home pretty good. Pretty well. Exactly, yeah, pretty but well. he's he has Dude, longer times. He literally has Munchausen by proxy with Miles. What do you mean? His no, balls didn't get cut. No, here's the deal. I today today was the first day. I didn't cut my balls. The, today was the first day. I he's, don't know. I opened up. I opened up. I get him out of his sleeping crate. 
He walks into the middle of the in my room. He lays on the couch and just looks at me while I make coffee. I go, what the fuck? Just like, is something going? I'm like, are you healthy, dog? Is there something wrong with you? And he just looks at me for like 20 minutes. He was just like, I'm like, you're, you're high on that fucking pill that I gave you. Because, okay, if you don't know, Miles got neutered. He's at a year old. We cut off his... And I bet, I bet the dog commenters are going to be like, you shouldn't have neutered your dog. You should have... It's so inhumane. Is it inhumane or is it the right if thing you're to do? Not, if you're not populating them... It feels fucked up. Because he looked at me like you took something from me. Like I don't know. There's, you know there's fucked many up? schools of thoughts. You know what's <laughs> fucked up? I mean, actually, right. it's healthier because if you let, leave uh, balls in dogs, they, they're they more at risk for prostate cancer. Yeah. So you're doing preventative care for him. Yeah. There we go. He's exactly. not going to get prostate cancer because he doesn't have a fucking prostate. Man, now he's just, he's just, you know, has a little fucking raisin on his testicle They don't take area. his prostate out, but you know. Uh, so yeah, it's really weird. So he's like, can they take my prostate out? Yeah. They don't take prostates out though. They just get, oh, they do. They do. do wait, they remove them and they what's give you that. What's a prostate even for? Prostates. But what's it for? The G spot. That's our G spot, <laughs> but like, what's it for? My dad had prostate cancer. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. That shit hit the G spot. And then here's the thing. <laughs> He almost died from it because he didn't want to get tested because he, he, he was like, he didn't want anything up his ass. So, I think I mean, the, prostate I makes, for that. the prostate makes uh, some sort of hormone and I don't know what it is. Oh, you know, Dominic was on a Jubilee episode pro gun versus anti gun and it mm -hmm. just came out. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. What is he fucking anti gun? <laughs> yeah. No, he's not, dude. Oh, is he really anti gun? Yeah. This guy has like seven in his house. So he can know the enemy. The camera turn off again. The enemy, the enemy, the the enemy is the inner me. What does the prostate do? Yeah, this is a good look. You up. both have prostates, and you don't know what it does. No, I'm no, sorry. Hey, I'll, I mean, no man knows what it does. All we know is that we got to get fingered once a year. Once we I'm sorry. The pro okay, do you know this? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to bleep some of this. The prostate produces fluid that washes, keeps us healthy from su for successful fertilization. That's what the function of the prostate. Oh, I need, is. I need my prostate. I need to keep it because if I don't, if I, get I, rid of, if I, I don't want dirty sperm, dude. That's my nightmare. <laughs> that's a, that's I nightmare. would never know. I would never know in my life that the prostate washes the sperm. <laughs> yeah, great. We have fucking we have low paying workers in our fucking yeah, body. Dude, like, Congratulations. But what washes your vagina? Okay, yeah. you don't have a prostate. What washes a woman's vagina? You have dirty eggs. No, but they do bleed every month. It cleans them out. Oh, the vagina is self cleansing. And oh, dude, it's efficient. I'm sorry. Have you tested your pH lightly to make sure that it's on par? You brought the strips. Right? Test it. Yeah. But she look, how is she looking at you? She's blocking her lips. It was like, listen. Yeah. Okay. No, be listening. Yeah, I'm listening. I know how my body functions, unlike you guys do. Not know how yours functions. Let her finish. <laughs> what does this? Well, let her finish. I'm going to ask a question. No, I know you are, but let her finish. As someone who, she has a lot to say. I have nothing to say. Okay. As not. someone who went to <laughs> medical school. I didn't go to medical school. Basically. What does the spleen do? I didn't study that. I studied ah, spleen. Ah, you don't know what's in your body. Doesn't the spleen like clean your the, blood? The, they, Is that right? The, what does your... If you want the kidneys... The kidneys technically clean my body. It, yeah. Your kidneys clean your bl blood, motherfucker. I feel like everything in my body is just to clean itself. Can we just have, is there another it's way It's just a, basically a big filter for a, a pool. big filtration yeah. system. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I, I studied on women's sexual and reproductive health. I'm sorry. You should know what your body does. Did I know that the prostate washes sperm? No. But did you know that the spleen washes your, your, your butthole? You didn't know that. Does it? No. It's not a bidet. What does the spleen do? Look it up. Hey, Siri. <laughs> what does, Siri, what does the spleen do? The spleen filters your blood and also right. stores your red blood cells, platelets. And it stores cells. your platelets. It's a I was right. You're smart. Look at you. I what does the gold it. blood but Here's do. the thing. I'm talking about like your anatomy. That's like outside of basic human anatomy. Wait. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what did I say? It's like, I'm talking about your anatomy that's outside of oh, basic human anatomy. Are, <laughs> you know why you're saying this? Do you know why it pisses me off that you're saying this? Because motherfucker has a degree and reproductive health. So she knows that shit because she went to college for it. But she had no idea the, the fucking prostate clean sperm. I Be guess, honest. I, just, I didn't study men's health. I studied women's. Mm, sexist. And they wanted yeah, choice. Yeah, because I didn't fucking give a lib, fuck. Dude. Why, would, why, would I, <laughs> why would I have a focal area on men when I don't give a fuck about them? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's why we don't give a fuck about you. Men rise up. I care about Frogan. I care about women. I like women too. I'm saying her, per just her as a person. Not I'm not, yeah, I care oh, about her. Yeah, no, I definitely care about her. No, I do care about.
She's my uh, Switch Axe user. Yeah, it's true. Her. I'm trying to make a point. Is no, I'm a Switch Axe uh, user. No, you're Charge Blade. I don't care about right. you. You don't care about me. Let's high five. I, mean, I'm not, I need someone to. The charge. We're having a podcast film right now. Shut the fuck up about giving Monster us. Monster Wilds is an important topic about the podcast. Your fans <laughs> love it. I need a high five from one of you. High or... five, Raph. No, I already said I'm not going to high five. You know where that foot's been, too. Stepping in cat litter. That foot is not halal. Yeah, it's not a New York dish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was that on the pot? Yeah, I'm, I think we should leave that in for the cold open. Yeah, his socks don't fit him. Well, they shrunk. Put or your, he got taller. Put, put your foot up. You see that the green's supposed to be on his heel? He just didn't pull his socks up all the way. My no. my my gray's not on my heel. Can I be honest? These I got these, these. I got these from Dave and Buster's when no, I bought that really bad thing, salad. I picked them out your size though, because you let us pick. Because your I size. have size fourteen foot, and my fucking thing shrinks stuff. You guys are so rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have big feet. You know what they say about big feet? Big small penis. This giant prostate. <laughs> Huge prostate. <laughs> so what's the point of a prostate if you sperm has never been cleaner? You know when no, you get, the thing you know was, when your prostate enlarges? Let him talk. What are no, you no, saying? No, no, no. The thing I was going to say doesn't make sense. What, no, I he, now enlarges? I'm curious. Yeah, well, stay curious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm thinking about it for the rest of my life. I'm going to say something more important. You know when their prostate enlarges? They're just trying to wash more sperm. You know how old people get enlarged prostates and they can't pee? Because they're too busy washing. I didn't know that. Now I do. We need to, be, we need to come up with more efficient ways to like have like the intrusive testing's done. You know? Excuse me? You mean like the finger up our ass and stuff? <laughs> yeah, like, why do I have to get my titty squeezed like a pancake? No, you don't have to. Oh, they you just do that because they enjoy it. <laughs> do you go on that machine where they like... Mm. So because my mom had breast cancer, I have to get it done at 33 instead of My grandmother 45. died from breast cancer. Wait, what's the machine? Uh, for a mammogram to see if you have breast cancer. They a mammogram. So what you do is thing. you have to like grab your boob and put it on a plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, and, then even, and then even if you don't have like a big titty, they'll, they'll find something to grab. <laughs> and then they squeeze it. Like it, they literally flatten your titty. What if you're a poor woman? You have to like, they'll find they'll, something. They'll find your tit, believe yeah, me. Yeah, they like. I have a question about boobs. How, why is that the only place that you get cancer like on your skin fatty area? You don't get like, stu you don't get like stomach cancer in your fat. Because boobs are all fat. No, I mean, no, no. I boobs, understand that. Boobs also have like, but I never get ass cancer though. in my ass fat, and it's a but you I can got a juicy though. ass. No, you. I mean, it's not not as big. A tumor is a tumor, I, unless you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I'm then explaining. It's not a tumor. It. I'm asking a question. I have. I'm trying to answer your question. I'm trying to explain. My legs are fat. Why don't yeah. I get a, like a random like? It's not as prevalent to get a random fat tumor as it is boobs. Because a fat tumor cancer. is called a cyst. No, There's also a, hormonal right? functions in your titties, too. Yeah, you don't that's have any hormonal why. functions in your asshole. If we got rid of women, we wouldn't have the hormones. But you could also get breast cancer, too. Yeah. I know. Fuck. I mean, especially with those fucking C cups. <laughs> you made fun of me before the podcast. The I, don't feel like I, I, I have You have bigger boobs. It's true, I do. We've I already done this on the Patreon. Do you guys want to see it? I, I, think, I, I think it's more ribcage I, I have. I think I measured you guys wrong. What do you mean? I have pretty big tits. You don't look like a D cup though. Yeah, because I work out though. But and D I have a I have bigger I have a bigger chest than But Capri a D does. cup would be like I could grab it. You can. Like a handful of it. You can grab a handful of my tits. Grab your titty. You can quote me on Let that. me do it. New merch coming out. Let me do it. Grab your we'll titty. I don't want anybody to touch me right no, now. No, I'm I saying you grab your own. You grab it. Oh, that's good, dude. Okay. That's a good grab, yeah. See? That's pretty that's a D. Grab your titties. Barely a grab. You can barely put that in your palm That's your hands. C. You're just jealous because my pussy pops severely. And you're I just pop mine. Do pop it right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of popping pussy, dude, the Olympic there's the, the Olympic break dancer uh, from Save Australia. Save it for the Patreon. No, oh, okay. I'm not letting it. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about it can now. We, can we let it be a main episode one? It's up to you guys. I don't care. It's such a <laughs> what was I saying? You're talking about the break I had a dancer. solid transition, but you fucked me up. I know. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, Why do you do this that every was a, time? That, that was purposeful. It's okay. That was it, a it joke. Was purpose. I'm okay I don't with care if you're joking or not. I'm reading the room. I don't think your joke is your funny. Your leg is showing. My leg? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Don't look at it. I need to shave my legs. They're stubbly. Blur it. Anyways. 
the Olympics breakdancing, uh, the Australian ladies getting a lot of heat. I didn't watch any of it, just the memes. And I feel bad for the memes because, <laughs> eno- because I think her coach came out at, on a press conference and was like, you know, she was paving the way for a lot of women in this sport. She did X, Y, Z. And in my head, I'm like, Do there's it. been so many. There's been so many. There's a lot of women. Can there's you, a lot of women breakdancers. Can you imitate what she did? <laughs> it was bad. Maybe. Was Maybe it bad or is, is it that, was bad? Look it up. It was so bad. It was like, look it up. It was really bad. It, it's like it, it looked like a white lady trying to teach black people. Yeah, how, it was other white people had a break. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say no. It was just it looked like they, she was trying to it teach did people look how like to a white like, lady. be quote unquote urban. Yeah, it, it looked bad. It looked like that. and I don't think she scored a single point, Mm-mm. which mm-hmm. I was like, well, obviously. But I was like, dude, I, I love, love. I'm gonna teach you what, how to. What surprised me about urban. her, and I don't know how true this is, but apparently she's like a, a professor at a college regarding breakdancing history and studies of breakdancing. Well, maybe she should have fucking done more breakdancing. Uh, well, I was just, I was just, it's just, it's, I don't know, dude. I was just like, dude, this is, a, you're I an Olympian. What, I couldn't do what she was She doing. looked kind of stiff too, which is kind of wild. She looked stiff. I couldn't do what Pre- she was break doing. Breakdance right now. I don't think that. I said I couldn't do it. I, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. That was just a bad fucking No, people day. have bad days. But like, I was like, dude, this is embarrassing almost maybe she was nervous but also i don't break dance so what, what the fuck do i know try break dancing i'm not gonna try break please dancing. try you can it. do it you're the you one who looks easy. like a break dancer right now with your fucking that's true you do look like a break dancer you do look like a break dancer you try break dancing i have break no dance. i have no movement in this outfit i don't have movement in these fucking bones doc that's true <laughs> your, your pants stretch just do a little move just do one of these uh, uh. I'll break. I'll, okay, how about this? I'll break dance on the Patreon. Can we show a clip of it real quick? Show a clip of it while Raf does this. Hold on. I can do it. I got assaulted by your asshole, dude. Did you? Yeah. Kiss <laughs> bro. The people downstairs are going to die. This isn't healthy. This isn't healthy, dude. This is it. It's this not. Is it. <laughs> no, there's no way you're winded. There's no way you're winded. Okay, you, you can't be winded. Hey, I'm dancing. sorry. You cannot be winded from that. This is break dancing. <laughs> okay, you do it then if you're can not. You do it? I'm not doing that. You physically fit, motherfucker. Do it. Dude, you can break dance. I'm not doing it. Do it. No, I'm not doing do it. it. Right my shirt, now. my shirt's gonna go you up. You try moving 260 pounds of your body. It's hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't. No, do this. it right now. I'm gonna dance like the Australian woman. Do it. She did like the kangaroo thing. I, if I do it, you do it. I'll do it if you She's do it. She's too busy squeezing her. You chin. maybe do that fucking dance on TikTok and look like a goddamn creep. You do it. <laughs> That's true. You did look like a creep. I didn't look like a creep. You I did. added that. Scooters, fix the camera. Stop playing fucking Mario. Come on. <laughs> don't fucking do that. Yeah, don't. I fucking. Yeah, kill it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Scoot. <laughs> I've been getting up and doing it every single time. Yeah, Scoot can don't talk to me like that. That's yeah, I'm up. sorry. Yeah, if fuck I, you. If I do it, people will see things they don't want to see. Like what? Like what? My ass. I'm sure people want to see it. your yeah, legs are showing again. Yeah. Stop. I'm, we're we're helping. We're trying to help, dude. I'll love you praised. All Here's right. The deal. What? Do it. I'm not doing it, but I will do it on the Patreon if you subscribe for five dollars a month. Mm-hmm. We have a live stream planned for. Soon, but well, we Wednesday? announced it last week. It was gonna it was supposed to be it. this week. It's supposed to be this week. We'll do. But it this like week. everything we've done with the Patreon, pushing it off. We need to do it next week. We do. We uh, we do. Also, we have a live show coming up at TwitchCon. So if you guys are going to be at TwitchCon, come to the live show. Yeah, and we're going to plan also an unofficial meet and greet as well. If you guys are interested in that, uh, don't bring any weapons. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, also, that uh, that concludes this week's episode of the pod. We're going to continue this on the Patreon. Yep. And uh, if you made it to the end, what is the comment this week? From well, we already said the, the comment for the Grande thing. What is it? I forgot, but we'll see it <laughs> pop up a lot. And also, you know, if you have a problem with us calling cops on people who do heroin and almost <laughs> in the fucking parking lot. Sorry, dude. Sue me. All right. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. A cab. But like, you know, they were going to die. So. Also, Ralph is probably Okay, so you said you'd break dance on the Patreon. Do it. Yeah, do it. Here, I'll drop a beat. No, get up. Get up and do it. <laughs> <laughs>